Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming Terrain. Guys, welcome. This is the weekly Wednesday Wargaming if you have questions and answers. It's off the cuff video for everyone that's new. What does that mean? I record and I upload. There is no fancy editing going on. There's no fancy business going on. You don't see my intro symbol. It's just, you know, off the cuff. The weekly Wednesdays are primarily model focused. I do that because the models are in front of me. Um, it's primarily GW stuff, but I am moving into other bits and pieces. There is terrain questions from time to time that I address in the weekly Wednesday because, you know, otherwise I have to do the whole video on its own for terrain questions. And sometimes it's general information that's going on the, on and around the workshop. So for all my regulars here, guys, I've got a love. Thank you very much. Like, let me get started. I keep telling you about these sprays, and I keep forgetting to mention them to you. These are the sprays, okay? BLOC, what they're called. Come in grey and black. Now the grey is just a normal dark grey, yeah, to cover the lid. But the black one is what I'm interested in. It's very, very special. I mean, the grey one would be good for, for rocky terrain and stuff like that, but the, the black one is actually brilliant. It comes in three different forms, okay? Gloss, which you need to avoid. Satin, which is good. And matte, which is perfect. Now, the satin, I can spray uh, uh, undercoat terrain with and all stuff like that. You can do models of it, but I find with the satin, if you're putting a metallic paint on, you have to give it one little thin coat and give it a second thin coat and it works fine. But the matte one, the matte black, this guy was undercoated in matte black. Absolutely perfect. Best thing about this is two euros a tin. Two euros. Now, they're not massive tins, as you can see. But um, I get them from a place called Choice. I know there's one in Klein and I think there's one in uh, Nace as well. I don't know if there's any others around the country, but um, let me give you a website actually. If there's a website on here, where are we? Okay, it's um, sales at gem, that's uh, G E M, slash imports.co.uk. Yeah, if you're interested in seeing it, see if you can get some of them for yourself. They're two euros a tin, that's what I pay for them. So, now, on to questions. Um, I was going to uh, clean and uh, do this build on the Chaos Space Marines from the Elder Jones box, like this week, probably today, but I'm not doing that yet. That's been put on hold. Immersive terrain is absolutely just smashed it out of the park with these bases he's made um absolutely amazing they're like skull covered bases and they're perfect for chaos um so he's going he's got actually got them on sale on his website immersiveterrain.com and he's going to send me uh some plates in my bases and i'm going to base them on there and then i'm going to when i do let's build on them you're going to see them on the base i'm going to do a painting video on them with them on the base and you'll see the bases and everything else Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, immersiveterrain.com. Go and check it out. Um, I have the same resin model that you glued the Jebba Swipe in Finecast. Should I sell it? <sighs> so I had a problem with that. And it was the, the front legs, the problem with that. If you haven't seen the video, go and check it out. It's, it's, it's okay. The models are absolutely amazing. In fact, break the thing. Where is it now? Absolutely fantastic, yeah. Just this piece was the problem. The joins on the arm and the joins on this arm. I I don't know. See, people know how difficult they are, so they may you may not be able to sell it on eBay or anything. If you could, I, I would say sell it and just get a plastic version because it'd be a lot easier to work with. You know, but it's it's down to you. It's you you're not going to be able to sell it if you open it, and well, you'd be able to sell it if you open it, but. If he's got the plastic wrap on it, it'd be more more chance of getting rid of it and selling it. I, I would say yeah, and get the plastic one in because it's not you know. Um, new to the hobby, I'm slightly collecting towel. Can you please do some less building, then, please? 
I will do. Um, it's got fire warriors here, but I will, I will give me a couple of weeks to get some, you know, get down there and get them in. If they haven't got it in there, I can order it in. But yeah, I will do start doing some towelless builds. <laughs> um, I've just done an amazing painting challenge. 12 hour painting challenge. And it's, I'm not gonna show you anything here because it's amazing. Um, I hope to have that video edited today's Wednesday. So I hope to have it edited probably tomorrow afternoon. Uh, the latest to be Friday afternoon, but I just know there's a lot on tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow afternoon I have that edited. There's a lot on this afternoon as well. So that's why I'm squeezing this in now. Um, but it's an amazing, it is good. I've been play testing the new rules for the game that I've made. Um, it's not play testing to film. It's more play testing at the moment, just to work out any little kinks. And then, you know, once once all those kinks are worked out, then I'll start play testing it and do filming play testing it. So you give you guys a little taste of what, what we're talking about. Now, one of the things I had to, I had to figure out and just sort of not dumb down, but I said to, it wasn't balanced well. A goblin, for example, five hit points, and uh, I had, it has an armor rating of fifteen. So the way that it worked originally was, you'll do your damage, and let's say you rolled your damage and you rolled seventeen damage. So his armor rating of fifteen means he takes fifteen off off of your score, so you only do two damage to him. And that wasn't really that balanced. If you've got a, to, to score, you know, fifteen in the first place is quite a, quite a big ask. If your hero's attacking with 2d6 plus whatever, you know, bonus from this and bonus from that, you you might only get 12 to 13, and of which his armor's absorbing, so you're not doing no damage to him. So I, to me, that wasn't really that balanced. So now I've sort of done it that I've changed the rule slightly so that I'm rating of 15, you know, below 20 would give you a saving throw for six, you know, something like that. There is no modifiers to the saving throw because that's one of the skills that you can get that increases, makes you know, makes the enemy, the target, have a saving throw modifier applied to their armor rating. But that's one of the things that you know we figured out. So now it's just if you fail your armor save, there's two d six damage or there's one d six plus four or whatever it is you know damage rate you do, and that's how many hit points of damage you do. So it's sort of slowed it down a little bit. So it's not. It was a great idea and it, it was fantastic. Pen to paper was fantastic, but then as soon as I started playtesting it, it was like, no, hold on, that's so if you're looking at something like a dark knight or some sort of big tough tough creature with an arm rating of like 60 or something, how are you gonna cause any damage to it? So yeah, that's there's a bit of playtesting going on with that as well. So now for those of you that actually thoroughly enjoyed the last Necromunda build I made, the best buildings I've ever done so far on Necromunda. Stay tuned because what I've got coming next, even at the moment, is blowing my mind. Yeah. Let's put it together and I had to think outside the box with what I was what I was doing and trying to figure out how how would I achieve this. And I'm just at the point now where I'm I need to make some ladders for it. And I'm getting a little bit frustrated myself because the material I'm starting to use to make ladder is too big and chunky and it looks stupid. So it's like, oh, so now I'm just taking a step back and just trying to figure out. But hopefully, that could be up by Friday or Saturday. Hopefully, I need to get this video edited first, which if I can get edited, I don't know if I get edited tonight, but if I can get edited tonight, then it'd be edited tonight and probably uploaded tomorrow. If I can't, I'll have to edit it tomorrow. But it's just a, there's a lot going on. So, but this is, and then the terrain build is even better. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I've got today, guys. That's all I've got. I'm flat out busy. So, if you have any any questions for me, for me to answer, model related, terrain related, you know, anything like that, please, just um. Try a comment on this video and I'll answer it.
if I feel you need an answer straight away because you're right, waiting on me to answer, then I'll give you the answer and then I will give the answer, you know, next week, Wednesday, for everyone else that might have the same problem. If um, <coughs> you don't want to chuck on below because people, mm -mm, then go on to um, Messenger, just message me. Okay, and I won't, I won't say, this person said, I'll just, you know, read your question out. Or you can go to the Unique Wargaming Terrain Facebook page and just chuck a comment on there. Now, I don't visit there all the time, but I do, you know, I do pop my head in there and you can actually go onto that Facebook, that Unique Wargaming Terrain Facebook page and um, there's a button that send me a message. So it's not, you know, there's, if you can't find my messenger, that's the easiest way to find me. There is... Um, yeah, and I'm also on TikTok, so yeah, you can ask me on there if, you, if you're on TikTok and find me. Tomorrow afternoon, actually, as I think of it, should be my little one painting the model for the first time. Now, you won't see her, or you'll see her hands, because I had the camera set up. But this is the model that she went for. Yeah, I've Xenophil primed it just with grey seer, because there's no point going black paint and then, you know, now that video, knowing her attention span, and she's only six, will probably be five minutes long. <laughs> five, six minutes long, you know. But it's not, I will upload it because, you know, she wants to paint models and, and do, a, do a video. So I'll, I'll upload that and then just a bit of father-daughter bonding time and allow her to, to bring her into the hobby slowly. So, you know, if, if when that goes up, to, could be tomorrow, could be Friday, I, there's just so much going on but when it does go up just chuck it a like just have a watch of it and chuck it a like guys just you know but all of you for everyone that's watched this video thank you for watching please like to subscribe turn on your notifications and i'll see you next time hopefully in the next couple of days there'll be two or three videos going up so guys take it easy until next time